Thank you, Malachi. It is 817. A public works department has an important reminder. It's a serious topic and it's going to be a tough reminder to miss. Yep, the Greer Commission of Public Works is going to have a hot air balloon for you to actually ride to help get your attention about this. Christine Scarpelli, she's live at Greer City Park this morning to explain. Hey, Christine. <laughs> Guess who's back? Back with a bang and a hot air balloon. I like it. Did you guys? I hope you missed us because we try to bring you quite interesting stories. Allison Rauch making it all possible this morning. Greer CPW. And uh, big thanks to Chris, too, our, our utility worker, um, demonstrating all this stuff. Real quick, Fred Tracy, you guys, there will be a quiz. I want you to tell us, because Chris told us before, what the red paint stands for. Utility workers are going to come out to your home if you call them. Call before you dig, 811. Anything, guys, if you're installing a mailbox, a garden, a fence, uh, it, it can be very small. It doesn't have to be a big deal. Out there digging, you want to call and have them come out and mark before you dig. This can really cause some issues. Allison, you did such a great job before of just telling me um, the, the consequences to not calling before you dig. Anything from injury to... Um, costing you money. Tell me about that. Absolutely. Well, these um, pipes have been hit by large machinery and they've knocked out some gas utilities to folks in our area, which is obviously a inconvenience, but you can face fines if you hit our lines. And it's not only an inconvenience, but you could lose electric, you could use lose cable, and then for emergency services like 911, if you ever have to call them and you can't because your power lines are out. Hey, we didn't talk about that yet. That's a big deal. Thank you for bringing that up. You can even see, guys, like the, the teeth of the big machinery that hit these poles. So it's possible. Um, of course, a great way to stop this is to call somebody out. These workers enjoy coming to do this. It's not an inconvenience for them. Oh, it's an absolutely free service. And we here at CPW would rather come out, mark the underground utility lines, have a conversation with the homeowners rather go. than have to come back out after hours and repair a 12-foot line that someone hit by accident. Drive me nuts. All right. Hey, this hot air balloon out here, 5 o'clock, Greer City Park, 14 and up, sign a waiver, and you can take a tethered ride. All right, Fred Tracy, moment of truth. What does red stand for? Blue is water. Oh, right. What marking this? What well, you didn't, you didn't uh, tell us we had to pay attention earlier. No, I, I, I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with gas, a gas line. Are you serious? Yeah. What do you think I'm out here doing all day? Uh, who do you think this is for? Thank you. Uh, thank to our viewers who have actually wrote in, paying attention to this, but our anchors are asleep on the desk. No, Allison, no. man, <laughs> disappointing. So they missed it. Red is electric. Electric. Oh. Orange, That's, yellow we were is say gas. That. We were totally going to say electric. White is proposed, and green is for sewer. Thank so you. thank you. If you see those Good lesson. in people's yards, you now know. Very good. I appreciate that, guys. Back to you. If you're if you're still awake. Christine, Morning. that was a, a total pop quiz. I, I exactly. thought I was done with those in high school. Pop quiz, hot shot. All right, we got to run. <laughs> Take Eight, notes. 8.20 is notes. the time. Let's check your live drive. Uh, bail us out quickly.